Welcome back, guys. Thanks for joining me for another beer review. <clears throat> Clear me throat. Uh, yeah, we are back with another one. Baz's first day back at work. <sighs> Hospital appointment this morning. Uh, first thing, didn't get to work till a little bit later. Finished a little bit earlier. I've had a little bit of a lazy day, but yeah, still feels like hard work and, and getting up at silly o'clock in the morning isn't very good. Anyway, right, before we get going, Look at this little thing behind us. Let me just move my chair. Sammy, asleep on the bar, on a jumper of mine with her head literally flat, flat faced almost in the jumper, bless her. She's always a, a, a usual thing on my video, so I wanted to show her there. So uh, yeah, there she is having a rest and not bugging me in the nicest possible way. I love her bugging me really. Uh, so yeah, right, let's get cracking on what we've got here now. Now, I don't know what's happened with my screen. My screen seems quite small. I'll have to sort that out sometime looking at that. So we're back with another beer review, like I say. Uh, and although Oktoberfest has officially, I think, I think, I think the third is the official date where Oktoberfest finishes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I am back with another Oktoberfest beer and it's another one, yes, out of the little Oktoberfest box uh, that contained 10 beers, 25 quid for the box. My camera seemed all wonky. Is it me? It's probably me. Could it be me eyes? I don't know. Uh, 10 beers for 25 quid, so £2.50 a box. It was a it, so far from what I've had from it, it's been a great box, it really has. Uh, and the one we are looking at is one that I've actually had, but I'm gonna review it now. My wife has just come in, so just bear with me. Just doing a review, babe. So there you go, see? Uh, so the beer we are looking at is, I can't even read the brewery at the moment, I haven't properly looked. Uh, Schloss Brewery Olbach. Schloss Brewery Olbach. And this is their Olbacher Premium. Lovely label on there. Uh, let me try and find the crown. I don't know if that's the right way up. Can't see properly. Uh, it's coming in at 5.6% in a half litre bottle. It's a 500ml bottle. And like I said, that works out at £2.49. I have had this before. I'm going to tell you what I thought of it. Now, I don't have one of their glasses, but there's a good old uh, Hofmeister tankard that we will use. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. Uh, I've watched uh, JB from Northern Southerners reviews. Of, I think I watched this one of this. Can't remember it if I'm honest. And I've just literally caught up on a, a few of Chris's beer reviews. Uh, videos and he done his final thoughts on the box and was very impressed with it you know and and again I'm going to agree with him the box was great it was great presentation the booklet in there the app it wasn't just about the beers it was about everything that you got with the box it was it wasn't just about drinking the beers it was the whole experience of the box like 24.99 absolute bargain so beer and glass there we go Pretty much crystal clear, a lovely sort of golden straw colour, lots of bubbles going up, and about a finger of white head. Quite compact, but we'll give it a swirl, because that always tidies the head up for me. So it looks really good, just looks like quality German stuff. So let's go in with the nose and see what we get. Yeah, malty, it's just typical German sort of the beer. Malty, little lemon citrus note. Hoppy, slightly sweet on the nose. Hasn't got that massive overpowering sort of Oktoberfest Mars and stroke sort of aroma that you get with some of them. Some of them can be quite big, grainy and ballsy. This, this just smells like a really good lager. So let's dive in on the old backer premium. Cheers, everyone. Oh. German beer at its best, really. I mean, that is an absolute belter. Absolute belter. Mm. 
good body, a bready body, but quite a light bready body. Bubbles are nice in there, nice carbonation. Small, quite a bit there, but because they're small bubbles, you don't really feel them so much in the mouth. It's nice and smooth. Mm. Smooth and soft in the mouth. Really drinkable. That is massively drinkable. The fact that I've pretty much drunk half of that before actually doing anything. Taste wise for me, hoppy bite to start off with straight away. You get that German hoppy bite. The maltiness is sort of behind there. I'm not going to say subtle, but it's maybe not so much in your face as the hops. Nice little lemon sort of citrus note going on. Which the more you drink it, you sort of, it is the hops I picked up straight away. But that last mouthful, you sort of got the hops, the malt, slightly sweet malt, that lemon citrus note, all sort of balanced together. All sort of just kind of, the more you drink of it, the more it all just settles in and it just feels like a really decent beer. And it is, it really is. Excuse me. No real bitterness in there. For me but it's not over sweet and and it sort of like I say it just balances really well it just works really well uh, the 5.6% 5.6% is absolutely nowhere I mean that is a dangerously drinkable beer but 5.6% and you look at stuff like this you know, this is in that box. This isn't something that you, you're just going to pick up in, in your bog standard supermarket, your bog standard bottle shop, I doubt. It, it's probably, as Chris's beer review said, a lot of smaller beers that you wouldn't necessarily get to see. Uh, some of the online places might have them, but I'm kind of thinking because I haven't seen any reviews or or heard about it, they're very sort of like small, unknown breweries, certainly to the UK or or to a lot of things because everyone just goes for the big names. But this is a cracking beer. And to get stuff like this is a bit of a gem really. So uh, yeah, 5.6%, half a litre, £2.49 in that box. Absolute steal. It's a banging beer. Would I recommend getting hold of it if you could? If you can, if you can get hold of that, you get it because that... It's got that Hell's feel about it as well. It's got that bready sort of doughy feel in there, which is something I didn't pick, didn't mention before. Yeah, it's certainly got that that bready sort of taste. It, it was there in the body, it's there in the taste. Uh, so it's a very much Hell style kind of feel to it. It's a great beer. So uh, if you get a chance to get hold of it, Old Backer Premium from Slosh, Slosh Browery Old Back. Uh, give it a go. If you get a chance to get hold of it, give it a go. If you've had it before and you add it in the box, let me know what you think of it. Great beer. I'm going to end it there. That's it. Simple. See you on my next one. Cheers.